Good morning. I want to talk about the Maw Crusher. I want to talk about how he moves and how good he can be in the move in the with all these tricky moves. So the Maw Crusher can move in a lot of different ways. He can be teleported. He can use Fasten. He can use Mighty Destroyers. And then he can do the normal charge, retreat, run, pile in, and so on. But if you you could, there's a certain combination of things that you can use, particularly things in the hero phase that you can you can really bend and abuse the movement rules in Age of Sigmar. So let me show you. So let's say that we have our Maw Crusher here, and then the first thing that we can really do with it with the Maw Crusher to move him is teleport him. So if we teleport our Maw Crusher and we want to keep him outside of nine inches, let's say, let's say we, we keep him, you know, we have to keep him outside of nine inches. So here's our Maw Crusher teleported nine inches away. And then what we're going to do is in the hero phase, we're going to use Fasten to close that gap down to three inches. Janky TTS, come on there, friend. We're going to use this to move him down uh, to three inches. And then we're going to charge. So let's just say, I mean, we could just say that we get a charge roll of seven. But let's take it a little bit worse. Let's say we get a charge move of five. So we can charge the Mega Boss five inches in. Okay, that's fine. Let's say we move him um, over this way just a little bit. Cool. So now the Mega Boss is half an inch away. And then in the movement phase, so this is all in the hero phase so far. And then in the movement phase, what we're going to do is we're going to retreat the Maw Crusher. We're going to retreat him over... He can go 10 inches, so we're going to retreat him over the line. I know this is the math isn't quite adding up here, but this is just an example. So, so we're going to retreat the Maw Crusher so he's wholly outside of three, and because the Maw Crusher can fly, he can just fly over some some units in the front line. There, is his move 10 or is his move 12? I th I always think it's 10, but for some reason I think I might be mistaken, and that it's actually 12. Mega Boss on Maw Crusher, his move starts at 12. That's right. Right, so no problem. I know this is a little bit off the edge, but but you but you understand what we're doing here. So now in the combat phase, you can still pick the the mega boss to um, oops. You can still pick the mega boss to pile in. Um, you can still pick the mega boss to to fight and to pile in because he made a charge move previously already in that turn and if you look at the rules for it, like activations in combat a unit is a unit is eligible i wonder if i can find yes so when it is your go to pick a unit to fight you must pick one eligible friendly unit to fight or you must pass a unit is eligible to fight it if is if it is within three inches of an enemy unit and it has not fought in that phase or or if it made a charge move in the same turn and it has not fought in that phase. So the Mega Boss charged in the hero phase, retreated in the move phase, and now in the combat phase is going to pile in. So the Mega Boss is outside of three inches and then he can pile in, you guessed it, three inches. And so, if you if you you have to end the retreat three inches outside of combat so let's say you're at 3.5 and then you pile in three inches you're within range because he has a one inch range you can even be four inches like you can be 3.9 inches away right and then still pile in and still be within reach because he has a one inch range so you could be four inches away pile in three and be still an inch within range so Anywhere that you can fit this pie plate, you can fit a Maw Crusher. You just have to abuse these rules until you get exactly what it is that you want. Look at these guys. Look at these objectives over here. Oh, TTS. So you can do very similar things with Gore Gruntas. The only difference is with Gore Gruntas is that you cannot... They don't have Fasten, right? They don't have access to Fasten. So if you want to teleport them and you want to teleport them... Uh, outside of nine so here they are you can use mighty destroyers to make this charge in the hero phase in big wa you're gonna you're gonna at this point probably have plus one to charge and in iron jaws if you're on your wa turn you get plus one to charge as well 
So this is normally in Big Wild like an eight inch charge or a or a eight inch charge in Iron Jaws. But another thing that um, and then so you can charge in the hero phase and this prevents unleash hell. Same thing with the mega boss charging in the hero phase is that it prevents unleash hell. It means that they can't unleash hell you. Your opponent's running <clears throat> a block of 30 fusiliers or, a, or something that you don't want to charge into. It's an eight inch charge in the hero phase, right? So another thing that you can do instead is you can take, um, you can take the same unit and instead of teleporting it outside of nine inches, you teleport it outside of 12 inches. And then you uh, mighty destroy your move, right? Because if you're outside of 12, then you can mighty destroy your move. And so you get down to three inches so that you have a three inch charge in the charge phase. Very, very easy. Um, so if we, if we charge in the hero phase, then we can do the same trick as we did before, where you can retreat in the uh, in the in the movement phase and then pile in in the combat phase. So in this case, you can see that we're kind of stuck between a couple pieces of terrain. But let me just see if I can't recall that. Look at this messy board. So if I were to let's say go outside of twelve, and then I were to my well no if let's say that I go outside of nine and I Mighty Destroyer successfully 8-inch charge. Well, then I can retreat in the hero phase, or I can retreat in the move phase, and then I can pile in in the combat phase. So I can really, like, move myself around. It's way better with the Maw Crusher because he has flying and he has access to Fasten, but you could do very, you could do a, a watered-down version of these movement shenanigans with the Gort Runtus. So just to recap for the Maw Crusher, Teleport, Fasten, Mighty Destroyer's Charge, Retreat, Pile In. You can get anywhere you want to get. If you can fit the pie plate, you can kind of work out how you can get there. You just need to get a good... Sometimes, you just need to get a good charge roll. And that's it. So, yeah, try this out. Uh, make sure before you do this in a game that you explain to your opponent what you can do before... You start the game you you don't want to get somebody with a gotcha most people do not understand or sorry they don't i shouldn't say they don't understand most people are unaware that if you charge in the hero phase that you can retreat and then still pile in and fight in the combat phase lots of people don't know that because it never comes up for their armies but because we can do a hero phase charge it does come up in our army so make sure you don't get your opponent with with some with some shenanigans like this before at least letting them know that it's something that's possible all right, some some good etiquette there. All right, well, like, subscribe, and why, why not? Like and sub. Oh, that's so bad. Oh my god, I'm gonna delete this video.